It is hard to slow seven-year-old Jackson Clifton down. Yes, but a couple of years ago, the Alpharetta first grader found himself sidelined by mysterious pain. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin shows us how doctors at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta discovered exactly what was causing him the problem. And Sine and Tom, it's pretty normal and common for children to experience some joint or bone pain when they're growing up, but Jackson's pain got so severe, he couldn't walk one day, and that's when his mother realized they needed to get some help. Okay, come on, guys. Jackson Clifton may only be seven, but the Alpharetta first grader is already a standout as a multi-sport athlete. So Jackson is in baseball. Yeah. He made the all-star team. He's in basketball. Get in there. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Wave at mommy, Jackson. Oh, and he's been skiing with his family since he was three. But in February of 2016, when he was just four and a half, his mother, Kendra Clifton, noticed something was off. So for weeks, Jackson had been complaining of hip pain. She thought it was just growing pains. He was still active, very active. But then? The day before we were supposed to go skiing, he fell. It was right before school. He fell to the ground. He said, I can't walk. This is the tumor. This At Children's the Healthcare tumor. of Atlanta, an MRI revealed why. Jackson had a one-inch mass in his hip joint. All Kendra Clifton could think was cancer. 100%. Yeah. All right. Fortunately, it was not a cancerous tumor. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta orthopedic surgeon Dr. Cliff Willimon says this is a PVNS tumor and it's caused by an overgrowth in the lining of the joints that causes the mass to slowly get bigger. It's a gradual increase in pain in the hip or the knee or another joint. What makes Jackson's case so rare is that he is one of the youngest kids to ever experience PVNS. And the problem is uh, once it gets really bad, the cartilage of the joint is damaged beyond repair and that's a, a really tough um, problem for a young person. But here's where Dr. Willimon was able to help. Usually removing a tumor like this involves a major operation to open up the joint and take the mass out, which is a lot for a four-year-old. But Dr. Willimon was able to perform a much less invasive orthroscopic surgery. So that's where we place a small camera into the hip instead of making a large incision. Jackson went home that very same day with three small scars. And two and a half years later, he's back in the game more active than ever. And Kendra Clifton says she couldn't be more grateful. Just thank you to everybody that helped my baby. You really count your blessings. And there is a chance that PV NS tumors can grow back, but because Jackson's tumor was contained all in one area of his hip, if it does come back, it will likely grow back in the very same place. So he's now getting yearly scans, and so far he hasn't had any problems.